But one day, perhaps while this free market mangler was having an expression session with the scalpel, he realised that some of the people that he had apparently turned into boys were actually female, and some of the people that he had apparently turned into girls were actually male. Well, if it isn't my old friend, Mr. McGreg, with a leg for an arm and an arm for a leg. So, John Money combined this observation with a complete misunderstanding of feminist analysis and the concept of social construction, and failing to truly comprehend any of it, he thought to himself, well, it turns out I've basically been turning whoever I want into whatever I want. So this same principle should apply to non-intersex kids as well. His eyes then flipped over into dollar signs and his head made the sound of a cash register opening. The big problem for the good doctor was that while the medical establishment was ready to throw intersex kids to the wolves, no one was ready to let him fuck up a fully human non-intersex baby just yet. So he had to stick with filleting baby X-Men for a little while longer. But one day, the good doctor got a lucky break. His chance came when a woman took her twin boys to be circumcised at the local hospital, where they were using some weird circumcision technology that involved burning with electricity. Lo and behold, the doctors accidentally burned one of the kids' dicks off. This child's name was Bruce. His mother was distraught and didn't know what to do. A short time later, Bruce's mother saw John Money on the TV talking about how it's possible to turn a boy into a girl because, again, he doesn't really understand what socially constructed means. But neither does anyone else, so the parents sign up and John Money starts working his creepy brand of neoliberal black magic. Presumably, he said, I don't see why we can't experimentally circumcise our way out of a problem that was created by experimental circumcision. After all, everyone knows that the only thing that stops a bad doctor from remodeling your genitals is a good doctor remodeling your genitals. We have no choice but to destroy the sex in order to save it. However, Unlike with previous operations on males who were intersex and had, at least to the knowledge available at the time, gone on to be successfully raised as girls, Bruce did not appreciate the good doctor's intervention at all. After rejecting Dr. Money's regime at age 13, Bruce would later go on to identify as male, attempt surgical reconstruction of his genitals, marry a woman, and eventually shoot himself in the head with a sawed-off shotgun at age 38. Of course, after the fact, everyone from the people involved in the experiment to the wider medical establishment knows that this project was a complete failure. However, the sexist assumption made by the broader culture is that the operation didn't work this time because Bruce was quote unquote really a boy. They completely missed the point. They think the reason he wasn't attracted to males and he didn't like femininity was because his real boy brain was telling him not to. The problem with this is that plenty of real boys are attracted to males and like things that are considered feminine. If this happened to be true of the boy John Money was experimenting on, the medical establishment would have had no option but to assume that the experiment worked which is another way of saying that the logic of the experiment erased homo and bisexuality. <laughs> homo, yes. <laughs> Sexual, ah! <laughs> um, this reveals what has always been at the heart of sex change surgeries, the comfort of society and not the medical need of the patient.